1871 is just a a revenge story and yeah, I don't know how I never thought of it that way. Uh, it's, it's just good old, it's a music video. It is mm-hmm. a music video, but it's done with an epic Western movie in mind. A cinematic feel. And squeeze it in three minutes, mm-hmm. you know. <laughs> I think we were inspired by Lonesome Dove and we didn't the even know. The first line that popped up was the cowboys around here. And then she started doing this, Ooh, and then she's like, oh, my gosh, this is awesome. We need to yeah. keep going with this, see what happens. We had talked at one point, like, how cool would it be to be in a Quentin Tarantino movie with this song? And then from yeah. there, we decided, let's just make our own. We yeah. don't need him. Yeah. And let's just focus on making our own Western here in Iowa. And mm-hmm. Yeah. And we made it happen just through friends donating their time and talent and um, just everyone coming together for a couple days of shooting. My buddy Stefan Hansen is the wizard here in Des Moines, Iowa, that can make any idea I bring up happen. And um, this Western was a bit bit of a challenge, but we made it happen and it just kind of all came together.
from Mount Pleasant, Iowa, originally, where Old Threshers is, uh, takes place every year on Labor Day. And they have that old town that you see in the video. So we just got a hold of the right people. That cowboy gang, they are there every year. That's and a real gang. That's yeah, real so gang. they just like put on their costumes and showed up. Um, Brought their big the shotguns. Yeah, and the saloon girls, they dress up every year. And then same with the kids. There's always kids that are dressed up in the time period, clothing and so they already had the little games and stuff, and, mm -hmm. the, and then the Bible. Isn't the Bible that was that, that was like my great grandma's Bible, and the gun was my great grandpa's gun or my grandpa's gun. That's your grandpa's gun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, what else did Wait, they your, have? Your your her dad is the villain. I am sure. And we were dating at the time too. We're married now. I think, but <laughs> it was kind of we were like, hey, can I shoot you in a music video? A lot of that was just. Of Stefan's awesome camera angles that he gets, and he and it's just kind of all on the fly because he's never been to the location before, and he's just kind of ooh, this is cool. Let's try this over here. Just kind of going with it. Well, and we had but written down like specific shots that we, we had wanted, a list. and we had a list of things we had too. for sure we had to get done, mm -hmm. and like like with her disappearing at the end and the shootout and the eyes opening. Those were all talked about before we shot that day. And the whiskey getting poured and stuff. But like off. me going through the saloon doors and the hookers up on the balcony, like that was all, <laughs> by the, that was just all by the seat of our pants, you yeah. know? Everyone was really surprised by how awesome the footage turned out that Stefan and my brother John shot. Yeah, I don't think they knew the quality that we were going for. Yeah. I think they thought it was just gonna be like a home video thing. And yeah, but thanks, thanks to slow-mo. Slow-mo yeah. always makes everything more epic, yeah. I would say.